All right guys, so before we get the rest of this video started, I actually want to show you guys a really cool app. Um, I downloaded this app when I first started eBay. I had bought a ton of action figures, uh, vintage action figures, and I didn't know what they were. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys real quick an app you can download to help you identify action figures like that. So super cool, let me show you guys. So this Batman here was actually one of the action, I never listed it on eBay. I, I know what it is, it's a Lego action figure, but I wanna show you guys how cool this is. So there's this Google search app on uh, iOS and Android. It's a really cool app. You can just click here, where it lets you take a picture. And then you just click here, let it, and once it gets that white dot on it like that, you just hit like that. And then it's gonna pull up exactly what it is right here. And sometimes you can find an eBay listing for it, but you can find different different types of listings and stuff on eBay. Like this one's $9.99. Uh, it's a Lego DC Universe Super, Superheroes Batman minifigure. It's really cool. I mean, it's actually really cool. You can do it with all kinds of stuff. Uh, so let's do this one here. This is a PlayStation 3 controller. We know that already, but we're going to use the app. And you gotta make sure that whatever you're searching, whatever you're looking up, there's nothing behind it in the background. It is very nicely uh, in place without a bunch of stuff in the background. Because if you have a bunch of stuff in the background, it'll actually pick up other stuff and search that instead of what you're trying to search. So anyways, uh, so just wanted to show you guys that app. Uh, so you will have it in your arsenal for when you're looking up stuff. It makes it really quick, really fast to find out what these things are so that you're not having issues, you know, spending two hours trying to look something up, this thing right here will find it. So it's a pretty good app. You should download it. Um, I'll put a link to the actual app down in the description below if I can. I'm not really sure if I can do that, but uh, I'll try. But it's just a Google search app on your ISO or Android. Enjoy the rest of the video, guys. What's up? Welcome back to another video. Uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Tyler. I'm a part-time reseller out of Texas. Um, I go to thrift stores, estate sales, you name it, to find stuff to buy for profit and resell on eBay. So um, if you're not new to the channel and you're coming back from a previous video, welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, today, what we're doing it's sunday i decided to get up a little bit early get in here and get some work done um yesterday i got back here for about an hour and messed with some stuff when i bought the helicopter buy that had all of the video games with it um it had all the newer video games and it had a binder full of this is the binder right here this binder was full of playstation one playstation two and I think a couple of Xbox 360 games, but what we did was, yesterday was I pulled them all out. I'm testing them here uh, because this is a backwards compatible PS3. It's played every game I could test so far. So PS1, PS2, and PS3 games, it's playing just fine. Um, I, I suggest if you have a ton, if you buy a lot of video games, you need a backwards compatible PS3 in your inventory um, in your own inventory for you to use on a daily basis um, Because this thing has been great man. This keeps it keeps it where I don't have to hold on to several different consoles Because uh, when I get consoles, I like to sell them on eBay and this right here allows me to PlayStation 1 PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 every time I get one of those consoles I can sell it and yesterday we picked up an Xbox 360 for 20 uh, for 50 bucks so we paid 50 bucks for that and then also uh, these gloves uh, these are everlast power lock boxing gloves 16 ounces um, he threw those into the, the deal they're practically brand new and so yeah we got that and that for 50 bucks super stoked about that we should be able to get our money back and get the xbox 360 for free basically once we sell the gloves um, because I'm keeping the Xbox 360 
Now, um, got all these um, games cleaned, tested, and ready to go. They all work just fine. Um, some of the PS3 games I cleaned. Some of them I didn't if they were just minor scratches. Uh, or excuse me, not the PS3. Some of the PS1 games I kept. <laughs> Some of the PS1 games I cleaned, some of them I didn't, depending on how bad they were scratched. This game right here has pretty significant scratches on it, but it seems to work. So, I don't see it having any issues yet. So, what I'll do is play that for a couple minutes, make sure it doesn't freeze, and then see what happens there. But, uh, yeah. Just wanted to kind of bring you guys in today, make a quick video with y'all, and kind of show y'all what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do with these games here on the table is I'm going to uh, get them all tested, make sure they work, and all the games that work, I'm going to lay out and do a big lot of games with no case, uh, just just basically games by themselves, just the disc only, a ton. I'm going to call it a backwards compatible. Uh, PS3 game lot uh, that way if someone buys a backwards compatible PS3 on eBay and they want a bunch of like older games newer games to go with it they can buy a lot like this and have a bunch of games to play so I think that's a good idea so I'm gonna try that out and see how that works um, but there was a couple of games that I singled out and I want to show y'all show y'all those one of them is already sold uh, this one right here destroy all humans this is a decent game uh, it's about a $10 game, so I left that one out. And there is a cut. There's like one or two $10 games in this bundle, um, but I wanted to keep that one. I actually overpriced it on eBay because it's a fun game. I'm gonna keep it and play it for a while. I overpriced it by like five dollars, so nobody will buy it. But uh, uh, this is a really good game right here. If you ever find this, if this would have been complete with the manual, it's about a $35 game. But since I only had the disc, it's uh, it's about a $20 game. So it sold yesterday for $21. Um, plus shipping on eBay and uh, yeah so super stoked about that and then we have Resident Evil 2 which is about a $15 game um, this hasn't sold yet but it's in really good condition and I, I buffed it out got it nice and resurfaced so but yeah games with no case guys I put in these little cellophane packages so they don't get scratched up and The thing is, um, you should never be, you should never toss games to the side because they don't have a case. As long as these things work, man, there's people that, that collect them and, you know, no, no case games that have no case and manual, they collect them and they put them in these things and then they have, you know, they get a huge binder then they just have a binder full of all kinds of crazy games. <clears throat> it's, uh, I think once I'm done with this. And I get all the games in here. I think there's probably about 10 more games here that I can add to this lot. It's going to be about a 20 game lot. So once I'm done there, I'll put it up on eBay for probably, probably just so it moves fast, probably about $45, $50. It's, gonna, it's worth more than that singled out. Like if, if a reseller wanted to buy this lot and resell every game by itself, uh, there would probably be about a hundred dollars there um, may, Maybe a little less than a hundred bucks. So So yeah, um, that's kind of what I'm doing this morning. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about a few things and We're just gonna kind of discuss Essential needs when you guys are starting an eBay store for yourself What are some of the essentials that you have to have to start your eBay store and get things rolling right out the gate so I'd say one of the main things that you have to have number one you hit one of the main things you have to have to get started on eBay would be a, a printer or a uh, label printer and a computer so I'll show you guys what I have I have this little Lenovo uh, desktop I think I paid like a hundred bucks for this on Facebook marketplace this guy sells computers uh, it has a warranty on it as well. He owns a computer store and he said if I ever have issues with it that he would replace uh, replace it in no charge. Uh, this right here is a Rolo label printer. This is uh, 
pretty nice label printer. It's about $180. So right here, in this right here, we have about $280 spent. If you count the labels in the little label rack, it's about $300 spent right here, about 340 bucks. So labels, computer, definitely a must, a must have when you first get started on eBay. Okay, well, and of course a room, you know, to do your eBay stuff in, uh, a garage, a storage unit, it doesn't matter, anything will work. Uh, you know, if, if, if you don't want to use a room in your house, you could always rent a storage unit out and use that storage unit. You're just going to have to get power, make sure you have power in that storage unit. And you're also going to have to make sure that you can get internet in that storage unit, some kind of like hot, uh, hot spot or Wi-Fi. Uh, this is, this is basically your starter essentials. Next thing you're going to need, um, is a niche. What do you want to sell? Um, that's, that's probably the, the, I'd say the first thing you need to do is pick out your niche, what you want to sell. And then secondly, you need to acquire your, uh, label printer and a computer and stuff. But, what do you want to sell? What makes you, what makes it fun for you? You know, um, there's a lot of guys I watch on YouTube. Um, a couple of guys, you know, like a uh, part-time picker, for example, that dude is crazy good at what he does. He sells a lot of stuff. Um, I just don't, nothing against him. He's a, he's an amazing guy. He's really good at what he does. I just can't see myself selling all of that kind of stuff. Number one, I have a full-time job, and if number number one, if I brought that much stuff home, my wife would have a freaking fit and cut my head off. So, you know, I kind of have everything nice and neat here, guys, and uh, in, in in a nice order, and it's not cluttered, right? You guys probably saw that just now. Yep, I pulled the trigger yesterday. I bought one off of Facebook Marketplace, brand new for 450 bucks. Uh, Nintendo Switch, so uh, they're going for like 500, 550, 600 on eBay, and I got that one for 450 bucks. And yeah, that's ours. We kept it. I'm keeping the box and everything up there just in case one day we, we you know, the switches go up in crazy value and we want to sell it, you know. But I doubt we will. We really like it. It's a lot of fun. So back to the clutter. Uh, no offense to Part Time Picker whatsoever. Super awesome guy. Very good guy. I love his videos. And I love his knowledge. He's got so much knowledge on what you can sell on eBay. But you know, like he he brings boxes of stuff home, and he has a shed. He keeps a lot of it in the shed, probably. But that room that he's in has a lot of stuff in there, and it's not really that well. I guess it's organized for him and his head. But my wife would have a cow if she saw it, if if, if I had my room like that. But a part time figure, if you're watching this video, no offense to you, man. I, I mean, I'm not talking any offense to you. I'm just saying for my personal uh, matters and how I like things to look, I just, I couldn't sell that much stuff, man. And it's just, and I like selling stuff that I, I love to sell. I like selling stuff that's fun. Uh, video games, collectible toys, stuff that, that I like, you know, that, that I like to sell. Uh, this stuff is fun for me to sell. All of this stuff here is all fun for me to sell. I don't think I would get enjoyment out of, out of selling just random one-off items that, you know, um, like I think I saw them sell like a hundred pack of envelopes, uh, um, you know, the, this crazy stuff he sells and he makes dumb money doing it. I guarantee it. I guarantee he, he could quit his job today and he'd be just, he'd be well off uh, from what he does on eBay. And so could I, I mean, I make pretty decent money doing eBay. Uh, as a part-time reseller, uh, I'm averaging, let's see, my 90 day total, I'll give you guys a 90 day total. Gross total. It's a, now keep in mind, this is gross. Um, my 90 day total as of right now, it's twenty thousand eight hundred eight dollars and sixty five cents. Um, I've been doing eBay for almost a year now, and in the last ninety days, we've sold nine hundred and ninety one items. You know, um, I could quit my job. I could quit my job and stay home and do this. Uh, am I going to? No, uh, I don't make that much money doing this. I could pay my bills and live live my life doing full time reselling, but am I going to? No.
no. Uh, it's too big of a risk. Uh, and, and the job that I work and the job that I have in, you know, my full-time job is a really good one. It's a good career. Uh, reselling is a hobby for me. It's not something I plan on doing full-time anytime soon. Um, now one, one YouTuber I do watch, um, that they kind of have their niche, right? Um, they sell a lot of vintage clothing, a lot of clothes, shoes. You probably know who I'm talking about. Uh, pause the video and comment down below if you know who I'm talking about. But, uh, Rally Roots. Rally Roots. Now, I've learned a lot from them as well. Um, vintage t-shirts and vintage, uh, you know, stuff like that I'd love to get into. I think there's a huge market for it, but I wouldn't sell it on eBay. Uh, I'd have to, what I'd like to do is create an Instagram, which I'm probably going to do here in the next few days, create an Instagram for you guys to follow and, um, try to make a name for myself over there on Instagram, uh, people from YouTube coming over and just random people following the, ch the, uh, channel. Maybe one day that Instagram can get big enough to where I could sell vintage cheese on there because if you can get a hold of some good vintage shirts, they're not going to sell for near as much on eBay as they are on an uh, app like Instagram. And then there's not any crazy fees or anything on, on Instagram. So um, that's the good thing. But I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys a little bit today and just go over some things. So uh, let's get back to the essentials for a new reseller. Now, um, oh, and yeah, sell what you love, guys. Sell what you love to sell, uh, what makes you happy, what makes it fun for you. Um, now, the uh, essentials, 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 essentials. Um, let's just open these drawers and talk about some of these things, okay? Uh, definitely going to be essential, tape measure, tape gun, and a knife. Zip ties are, are pretty essential. Uh, if you do a lot of, if you're dealing with a lot of electronics and cords and stuff, I like to use zip ties. Uh, markers, rubber bands are very essential. Fragile stickers are kind of essential. Um, an empty drawer is essential. Um, two empty drawers is essential. Uh, let's see here. Uh, if you do video games, there's multiple test systems that you're going to need if you do video games. Um, and these aren't essentials right off the bat. I mean, I could, I could buy this stuff and sell this stuff without ever testing it and just kind of look at the disc and, and see if they work and then just clean your older cartridge is really good. But I could literally sell all this stuff as is and then I'd probably have a ton of returns, but, um, I don't want to have to deal with that. So that's why I test everything. Now this is a... Retron, Retron 5, it, it plays Famicom, NES, SNES, and Sega Genesis, and Game Boy Advance right there in the front. Uh, this comes with everything you need, power cord, HDMI cable, um, yeah, pretty cool though. Then we have uh, cleaning materials and a scale. Um, scale is probably right up there with a computer and a label printer. You're going to need a good scale. This one right here, I think I paid about 25 bucks for on eBay, and it's it's wireless. It just has this cable, this screen plugged into the scale, and then this has batteries in it, which tell you what this weight, you know, what what it weighs, and um, yeah. So I leave this in this drawer. And I just pull it out when it's time to ship. Um, but a scale is very much needed. You can get scales pretty cheap on eBay. Uh, cleaning supplies, gloves, all that kind of stuff. If you deal with a lot of stuff that comes to you dirty, uh, I like to have that stuff because a lot of times if I buy like a lot of video games like this, a lot of times they're not clean. Uh, this one was very clean though. Everything was really nice and clean in that box. But sometimes you get stuff from like storage units and stuff like that. that's just super dirty. Um, you're going to need good lighting. When you take when you take pictures, right? You're gonna need some good lighting. I actually this is not my gonna be my my uh, full time lighting that I use. This is actually um, just extra lighting for when we have really bad shadows on stuff. I ordered two brand new lights the other day because I first at first I had the big umbrella lights, and I don't like to use those. Uh, they just take up a lot of space, so I bought I bought two flat panel lights 
that are going to set up right here for me to take pictures. So those are coming in the mail. They should be here this week, uh, this coming week. And then this is my PSP uh, with some games in there. Uh, just you know for road trips and stuff like that but now we have the uh, the Nintendo switch I'm probably gonna sell that <clears throat> um, these are just extras video game stuff uh, controllers all kinds of cool things here uh, these all need to be fixed they're broken I think they need new batteries but uh, this is my JFJ easy pro this isn't essential if you buy a lot of video games I think this is very essential if you buy a lot of video games the in bulk and a lot of and you're dealing with a lot a ton of scratch disc then you need to have a jfj pro i cannot stress it enough this machine has been amazing and i've only damaged two discs so far the rest of them have all worked so uh jfj's pro and i just ordered four bottles uh, i ordered one small size bottle of this stuff and i ordered another um two more 12 ounce bottles of this stuff and then i have these new pads these are extra thick these are actually you can see how thick these were right uh these are actually like double the thickness so these are going to last a little bit longer um we have a gopro here definitely essential if you're going to be doing youtube for your garage sales um these are fan this is actually famicom games i don't know what those are doing in there let me move these over here Famicom games. <sighs> I still haven't even played that Famicom. I need to try it out. But this is my camera drawer. This is all my recording recording equipment. Uh, batteries definitely a must need if you're selling electronics. Rubber bands. These. This, I'd say this is an essential right here. Uh, Mr. Clean erasers. These things right here do they do work, man? I I can't stress on those enough. Those are awesome. Q-tips. Uh, some labels that you can just write on uh, a couple more video game things oh and the, I, I would say this is an essential for anybody that does eBay uh, this is a heat gun and for those of you that if you buy stuff that comes with like uh, price tags on them that are stuck on there like sticky uh, you just heat it up a little bit it'll pull right off and not leave a, a big mess that you have to clean up you know all that goo uh, I do have some goo gone out in the garage but my wife is allergic to it uh, really bad it can't even be in the air or she starts itching so uh, I had to leave that out there and if it if it calls for that I have to go outside and use it but um, heat gun will fix all of that you just heat up the late the little uh, sticky thing and it will pull right off with that so definitely an essential um, now down here we have more video games that we've got to test and clean and get put up on eBay um, and then those are the handles for the end of the thing I gotta put those out in the garage it's just taking up space all right so the next essential I would say is boxes you guys need to have boxes. You need to put in a big order with USPS. They're free. You can go to the website, make an account, and you can order. You need to order uh, 1097 boxes, 1092 boxes, the shoe boxes, large mailing boxes, uh, pr large priority mailing boxes, or uh, excuse me, large flat rate mailing boxes, medium flat rate mailing boxes, uh, padded envelopes, uh, padded, or excuse me, flat rate padded mailer envelopes. Starting out, you can probably order like, you know, a 20 pack, a 10 pack of each or a 20 pack of each. I don't know how they do it on the website, but I think it's like 20. So uh, you can do a 20 pack of, of like, you know, large priority, uh, large flat rate, medium flat rate, and large mailing boxes. Uh, I would start with at least those three and order 20 of each. And then uh, also do the small, if you sell a lot of smalls, you might get some of these um, small flat rate boxes. And then I also have uh, these little eight by eight. Uh, these are like, what are these? These are seven by seven by six flat rate boxes. I don't use those quite often because typically when I sell stuff that small, it is uh, first class. So, but uh, also, you need bubble wrap. You need to make sure you have some bubble wrap in your uh, arsenal and boxes. Um, I order several different size boxes. 
Uh, and I just put in an order on Friday, so it should be here Monday from Uline. I ordered a bunch of eight by six by four boxes. That's the ones that I need the most of. Eight by six by four is one of the main boxes I get. Six by six by six, eight by eight by eight, 12 by eight by fours, 12 by eight by six, uh, 11 by eight by fives. Uh, these are 10 by 10 by four. So the alpha shelf guys is something um, that if you're a newbie getting into eBay and you're just starting, I think this is perfect for a newbie, man. Uh, you can get these online. They're called Alpha Shelves. I don't know which model this is, but this thing's perfect, man. I actually got this on Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks. And I think these shelves cost somewhere like around four or $500 brand new. So that was a steal for us. Um, some, but some kind of inventory system, something that works for you. Um, a lot of people like to do the bins, you know, the bins that you can number and letter and you can put just different stuff in every bin and then pick out what you, you know, skew it into your eBay app and make sure that you know where everything's at. But yeah, guys, that's it. I uh, just want to kind of do a quick, what does a new eBay, eBay seller need? What are the essentials? All right, guys, so that's going to be the end of the video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe down below, like the video and comment. If you're not new, welcome back to the channel. But I hope you guys enjoyed that little video. It's it's my two cents on what you need to get started and what's gonna help you get started on eBay. Um, I'd say you probably need to make about a five to six hundred dollar investment. Um, not not that's to get like fully stocked not starting out like when I started out I had a printer and I had a computer <laughs> uh, and then I went around my house found a bunch of stuff to sell like 10 items when I first got interested in reselling found like 10 items that I could list for free on eBay and listed all those items on eBay and literally like three of them sold that night it was a bunch of good stuff like Oakley sunglasses and stuff like that Ray-Bans um, stuff I didn't use anymore uh, but when that happened and I saw that, cha -ching, I was hooked at that point. So, um, I didn't have any of this stuff that you guys see when I first got started. Um, now that I've made profit and done really well on eBay, I've bought some stuff to make my job a little bit easier. And you can do that as you go. You don't have to do that all at once. Uh, all this stuff that you guys see. All this stuff that you guys see was bought along the way. All of this stuff. Everything you see here was bought along the way on my eBay journey. I did not have any of this starting out. So you don't need all of this. Just keep that in mind. Okay. But anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe down below, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.